Okay, I appreciate you. I know it's late, and I know uh, everyone's probably a little tired, but I do ask that you stay just for a few more minutes uh, because something that I think is very important is that we recognize those that have helped us get here and have paved the way for many of us, not just myself, many here in the room have, have learned from individuals and allowed uh, to work with individuals that have opened doors for us. Uh, the Center for Secure Free Society would not exist if it not for the individual that we're going to talk about today uh, in a few minutes. Uh, John Gizzi is going to introduce an award that we're going to give to Dr. Alejandro Chafuen, but I'm going to, to very briefly explain the purpose of the award. Uh, I have a mentor uh, that's a, a, been a mentor to many people in the room. He's also been a friend of everybody. He's a he's an, uh, soldier scholar by the name of Dr. Max G. Manwaring. Max Manwaring, for those that don't know him, uh, I call him the godfather of analyzing asymmetric warfare, but he was a professor at the Strategic Studies Institute of the U.S. Army War College, and he warned us years ago, along with Roger Pardo and many others that were in the defense community, about Hugo Chavez, about Venezuela, and said that this is a threat that the United States needs to take very seriously. Dr. Manwaring wrote a monograph in 2005 saying that this is a threat that's going to extend throughout the region. He wrote another monograph in 2012 saying that the Bolivarian Revolution is meant to expand. And he used to call the reaction of the policy community as equivalent to, I don't know if it's Harry Par Potter or Lord of the Rings, but I think it's Harry Potter, Lord Voldemort. He said, they, he who should not be named was the policy of the U.S. government with Hugo Chavez for many years. Uh, Max Manwaring uh, was a mentor, was a legend for those of us that study national security uh, throughout the world. And he was a good friend of many countries in Latin America. We have decided since two, well, see, three or four years ago to name an award in his honor called the Manwaring Award for Distinguished Service in secure, Advancing Security and Freedom in the Americas. We have been able to award this uh, prize to uh, former Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton in 2017, to Ambassador Curtin Windsor Jr. in 2021, and we have the privilege to award this honor to Alejandro Chafuen in 2023, where John Gizzi will do the honors. This truly is an honor. We meet a lot of people who wear their values on their sleeve. And I can say as one who knows Alex well, he wears his values in his heart, or he should. His work, his connections uh, in Washington, and most importantly, the time he gives to others for noble endeavors are a trademark of the man. And I can say from my own personal experience with Alex, Everything I ever needed, everything I ever requested, he got for me, and in short order. And anything he said, you could go to the bank on. Uh, it is with great pride that I am part of the ceremony with Joseph and with the center to present the Max Waring Award to my friend and yours, Dr. Alex Schofen. few personal remarks. As you know, um, as I have so many friends around the world and I have stayed in the freedom circles, uh, many people tend to think that I work f for the company, for, for the CIA. And now after this event at the, at the spy museum, you know, I don't know what, I don't know. I usually stayed away from partisan politics, but I joined one in the foreign relations uh, committee of a party in Argentina with someone that Mariano Federici had admired, a Cuban-born intellectual economist, uh, Armando Rivas, who did you know, two terms, I think, in the National Congress of Argentina. And as he, he always tended to side with the United States, especially the you know, Reagan policies and Madisonian ideals, it was permanent and people would accuse me, you are sold to the CIA. Uh, he, he, his answer was unique. He said, he, he died poor. He said, I wish I would be sold. I'm donated. <laughs> and then when, 
When I was 24, I, I received, as finishing my uh, university in Argentina, I received an award to study uh, with a disciple of Ludwig von Mises. Uh, and a general, a friend of the family, had studied and uh, someone who received a similar scholarship and had risen to great heights in Argentina, you know, the head of the American Argentinian business chamber. So he said, uh, in a, he invited us to the palace of the military that they have in downtown, beautiful. And again, in a clear voice, looked at my eyes. I'm very certain what he was saying because he, he studied the background of this person. He said, Alec, from now on, you don't know why or how or when, but your life will be ruled by the CIA. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, uh, well, no, en enough joking, you know. Um, uh, my work and the work of SFS depends on friends and supporters uh, like you. Uh, I imagine that many friends now are, are going to ask some family members, getting an award and not for working for the free economy. But I tell them, you know, there's no true free market if there's no security of life and property from internal and external attacks. You know, and that for me, uh, it's key. Uh, most of you know that I'm now at Acton Institute and there I'm f trying to win the battle, to win the moral battles for the free society. But for me, the, 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 the three pillars of the free society are a free economy, strong security, and sound morality. The market is a fantastic process, but if the people are immoral and the culture is immoral, the market will give you a lot of junk and a lot of corruption. So we need to fight in these three areas. Uh, I started my intellectual uh, life in the in fight for freedom in the, when I was a late teenager. And um, at that time in Argentina, communists were trying to take over uh, Latin America, not only Argentina. Uh, we were afraid to take the garbage out in my neighborhood. My dad uh, rose from ins car insurance inspector to be the head of the Argentinian Foreign Insurance Company Association. And the police, the head of police told him, you have to carry a gun all your time. He says, it's not going to protect you if they want to kill you, but it's going to put you down a notch in the list of, of the terrorists. It got very close. Mariano, the daughter of our family doctor and hunting buddy, Ana Maria Gonzalez, when she was 18, put a bomb and blew up the building and killed the chief of the police. You know, I just couldn't, <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. This is where I, where I grew up. Thousands were killed, many kidnapped, maimed, first by the terrorists, some families destroyed, then by the tactics used in the counterterrorism uh, campaign. Uh, many of us who went uh, through the 70s, especially the, the victims and those who shot a lot of bullets to win the Cold War, uh, did not neglect security, but we sort of got uh, cozy when the Berlin Wall was brought down, you know, and we thought it was enough. It wasn't. In the early 90s, uh, with the vice president of the Erhard Foundation, Anthony Salvian, with the president of the Institute for Human, Humane Studies, Leonard Ligio, I started an effort to try to win Muslim friends from the free society. But perhaps we didn't want to create a self-fulfilling prophecy. We were blind to the radical Islam, even to the connections in the first World Trade Center bombing. Remember the one that they failed to bring one Torah after another. So uh, that's when I, I started, I started to put the first seeds, you know, for this effort. But it was only when this young man, Joseph Humeyer, comes into my office, he tells me his life experience, you know, how he went into the military, and then how he studied economics under someone who I deeply admire, former colleague Walter Williams, that I realized that this effort uh, has had a chance. 
he had the attitude, you know, the training uh, and the spirit to create the network of intelligence and security experts that share our vision for the free society and willing to collaborate in this. And that's where I met uh, several of you. So thank you all no, for this immense uh, honor. You know, I also met Max Manwaring, uh, the follower, the past awardee, uh, Ambassador Curtin Windsor, this has been a great support for my work. And again, if we want to avoid permanent war and the destruction of the United States, there are many more intelligence and intellectual battles uh, to win. So thank you all onward and thank you, Joseph, for what you have done and thank you all for supporting him and being here. Thank you.